Hello, and welcome to the Revelry Gaming Podcast. I'm Danny. I'm Daniel. And we're back for episode 10. Episode 10, double digits. 10. Yeah. High five. Five, five for 10. Yeah, <laughs> five for 10. Five. That makes 10. Yeah. 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 That This is like our first, I think, big milestone, Daniel. Yep. I yep, kind of had planned yep. we'd like get fucked up, get you naked, know? get fucking hammered. Oh, yeah. we should have. I was gonna stop and get some liquor, but oh, you were. And then I was like, no, I better not. Oh, uh, okay. I gotta like do work stuff tomorrow. And... Yeah, wake up and do the works. Yeah, yeah. do the work stuff. Yeah. yeah, I think it's hard to do that. We we had one episode. I forget which one it was, but we had was like eight. three shots of Jameson. Yeah. Was it eight? Yeah, it was eight. Yeah, that was a little hard to do. Yeah, yeah, I was a little drunk. Yeah, for sure. I oh. Think I, I had four. <laughs> oh, you had four? Yeah, I shouldn't have had four. <laughs> oh, okay. Did you sneak one? I thought yeah, we took them yeah, all I together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you went in here and I took another one. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it was a little hard to focus. I think it was the one where you started by screaming yeah. that you were jacked up on Mountain yeah. Dew. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it was that eight. was the one. Now you know. We were a little drunk for that one. But anyway, episode 10, pretty cool. Uh, glad we made it. Here's to 10 more. Hell yeah. And if you didn't know, this podcast posts each and every Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific time on this YouTube channel. It'll be a podcast soon, we promise. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? Like, like on, podcast, on yeah. iTunes? Actual oh, okay. podcast service. Yeah. I know I've been saying I'm going to do all that shit soon, and I really will. I just need to We got lives, do motherfucker. We yeah. got shit, real life shit to do. Yeah. Well, and speaking of which, yeah. maybe one of the reasons I haven't done it, what have you been playing, Daniel? Uh, Destiny. Yeah. And uh, Bayonetta. Oh, you've been playing more Bayonetta? Yeah, I can't fucking... I like that game, dude. Oh, okay. So fucking fucking shit up in it. Yeah, yeah. but you've already beaten it, yeah, right? Yeah, I've beaten so. it. I'm trying to collect more fucking Halos so I can buy more shit so I can try to beat it on very hard or whatever the fuck the difficulty's called in that shit. Okay. And they have, they have like, gear in that game? Are you buying gear? There's what moves. I think I got all the moves unlocked now. Like, you know, fucking different combo. Right. Activators, right. you know, fucking different kicks and shit. Oh, okay. But only a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I was burnt out on Destiny the other day. I was like, fuck, I don't want to fucking do this anymore. Yeah. And yeah. then I had an epiphany. I told you today. I was like, fuck, dude. Because you, you got to unlock the skill trees of all three classes for each character uh, oh. for the, each trophy. And I thought I had to go through the story to do all that. And then I was sitting there Oh, like, yeah. Oh, wait. I don't have to fucking beat the game to do that. You can just go do public events and find the fucking treasure chest. And eventually, yeah. which is a silly way to unlock your fucking classes. You find it in a fucking treasure chest. The fuck kind of whack shit is that? But yeah. whatever, I digress. Yeah, there's a lot of weird little little shit yeah. like that going but, on. But cool. Now I can go. Now I'm like, all right, cool. I can just start the characters, get to a fucking area where there's chests, and just run them up until I fucking unlock them, and then mm -hmm. bam, I'll have those trophies. Is it is it faster to do it that way? You think? Because you've yeah. done it both ways now, right? Uh, yeah, because I've already gotten one of the second classes for the warlock, and I'm like level seven or something. <clears throat> Oh, I was okay. just on Titan running in circles, doing all the fucking public events, collecting chests. Mm -hmm. That's all I was doing. Gotcha. I was just racking up fucking tokens for my hunter to use. Nice. I just use my other two characters as little bitches to do shit for my hunter. Yeah. 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 That is how you act with your hunter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wasting time on these fucking idiots for my hunter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, we beat the raid though. Yeah, we did beat the raid. That yeah. was fucking awesome. That was cool. I told you it was fucking easy. You just, you it was not, easy. You just gotta not die. Yeah. Exactly. It's a fucking problem for some people. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a problem for me, too. I, yeah, I, yeah I, we all die, but yeah. I don't. Well, I've died, like, a couple times. Yeah. This one, though, like, uh, just real quick, like, the raid is kind of the meat of that game of Destiny 2, I think, anyway. But this one, I think, was not as good as the Vault of Glass. Barely better than, like, Crota's End. Yeah. Or is that what it's called? Yeah, I'd put it in the middle, because I thought the what's the uh, fucking king's fall king's fall i thought that one was really good that one was really good i yeah. like that one a lot vault of glass is really fucking cool mm -hmm. and i put this one like number three behind those two so like vault of glass king's fall or then this put, or do you put king's fall above vault of glass mm, probably vault of glass first yeah yeah it was it was the first one you know it was like it was also when i met you yeah and some of our other buddies that Fond i memories. had met yeah. memories <laughs> uh yeah i really liked vault of glass i thought the gear in vault of glass is a shit i was telling you this fucking earlier the hunter gear in that game was the shit oh yeah all the gear in that that one 
All of it, yeah. I think the fucking Titan helm was kind of funky looking, if I remember right, wasn't it? Yeah, didn't it have some like big... a fucking big ring coming off the back of his head or yeah, some shit? Yeah, some fucking apparatus yeah, yeah. all over fucking it. Fucking spoiler, added 10 light. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But this one, the Leviathan raid, I just thought it was a little more it's tedious. It's definitely a lot fucking less buggy. That's true. But the Which ra- is good. And the raid gear sucks the balls. Yeah. Like, it almost makes... It, like, you don't even want to fucking do it. No. It's like, there's no point. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, it's it's there's nothing special about it. And if you've noticed so far in Destiny 2, the armor yeah. that you wear, there's there's nothing special about it. There aren't like cool perks you're you're after. Yeah. It's literally like that's the armor with the rating and then I think you can switch like, you know, between mobility and resistance yeah. or yeah. resistance and whatever the other yeah, useless and then, stat is. And then you can is. add mods. But I mean, yeah. you can put whatever mod you want in there. Like you don't actually have to fucking you know, keep looking for a fucking item to drop with the role you want. Yeah. Which was part of the grind in the first one. Yeah. And now it's mo- just like, now it's just like find a cool piece of set of armor you like the look of and then put the mod in it you want and bam, you're good to go. Yeah. And not to mention there's really no variety in mods. It's no. like, no, it's reload faster with a certain grenade weapon. recharge faster. Yeah. Better, that's it. better stability with <laughs> X gun. Yeah. A little disappointed with that. So way disappointed with that. Yeah. You didn't get shit out of the raid from actually the drops at all. I think you can wait. You got like one item, I think. Oh me? Yeah. You mean I? I got the warlock bond. Yeah. And that was it. That's what's weird too. It's and the same get, thing. And then you get the bullshit tokens. Yeah, you get the tokens to go return oh, to a, a robot sweeper in the tower. Yeah. Which, like, I thought that whole thing was weird too because it doesn't really explain what's happening there. Like, Callus ends up spoilers. Yeah. Click he away dies. if you don't want to hear this. Yeah, he dies. <laughs> <laughs> he dies. You beat him. Yeah. You kill him. <laughs> but he's a robot. Yeah. And you're like, okay. Yeah. I mean, maybe I missed something because we were excited that we finally beat it. You know? Yeah, I, uh, I wasn't paying attention to anything he was saying. No, no. He doesn't say much either. I don't think they explained any of it. And so I was like, okay. You cool, know. he's a robot. Yeah. So are they all robots? I don't know. That was another thing is when you go down into the, the yeah, I didn't even room, notice any of this. I was did just, you not? No. Yeah, was, we were kind of in and out of there quickly. But so you went out into that platform, right? right. And then it ends and it's just this big hallway Vast room area, yeah. of, th- it was like they were on hangers, like an assembly line. Like an assembly line. Okay, yeah. Of calluses, like a skin for a robot to wear. Huh. Like he was in the raid, he eventually starts turning into a robot the more and more you damage him. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I was, I thought that, I don't know why that just never occurred to me before. Like, I watched it happen. Yeah. A bunch of times because he kept shooting his dumb ass. Yeah. Yeah. You never noticed that he was turning into no, a robot? No, I wasn't really paying attention, dude. I was fucking just shooting shit, yeah. you know? I was Looking like, at the crit spot yeah. you need to hit, yep. and then that was yep. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's kind of funny. I don't know. My opinion has changed pretty drastically on Destiny 2 since we first talked about it on this yeah, I was show. I all excited. We're all hopped up and amped about it for no goddamn reason at all. Yeah. And really, it's kind of... They got us. <laughs> it, it's a new game, and it is better. But it's like they've stripped ways, away everything, yeah. Yeah. and now we're back at square one with one raid only so many public events to do which yeah. seems to be like the main source of grind in yeah. that game which can get old fast in yeah. my opinion they're a lot funner on io oh really yeah i haven't done very many on io yeah io is a lot funner they're fucking a lot tougher too are they yeah okay yeah you it's okay. pretty hard to solo well on io even when i was i was in there at like 302 yesterday by myself trying to do one i was getting fucked up hmm. yeah they're mopping the floor with my dumb ass hmm but i guess that's good to know yeah but i, I was pretty cool i like that planet yeah let's start going there and fucking fucking killing shit mm-hmm. more of a challenge yep but i like what you said the other day I'm gonna get the platinum and then chuck the motherfucking frisbee, disc frisbee that bitch right out the window <laughs> yeah <and just> fucking <laughs> see you later destiny yeah, yeah. fuck you we got shadows of war to play yeah more microtransactions Ugh. yeah but, we'll get to that here in a well not the microtransactions yeah. but we'll get to monolith yeah later on well but yeah fun i'm fucking platinum that bitch yeah you think it would go back for dlc i don't know maybe i, I do like either. the shooting in the game the game mechanically is pretty goddamn fun and it is fun playing with everybody yeah so, it I is mean, it, and it does good in that on that front yeah just for sure some of the stupid little things they did and you're just like the fuck were you thinking Bungie? yeah or is it activision i mean we don't really know you know yeah no no we need 
We need money. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's a bit of both, mostly Activision, but Bungie has lost a lot of people over the years. They've lost, like, main writers. Yeah. And, you know, uh, programmers and things like that. Like, they're not the same studio they were when they made for Halo, Halo 2. And, yeah. You know, but it's been fun, and I'm ready to move on now. Yeah, I got to get that platinum, though. Yeah. Speaking of moving on, let's get into the news. All right, let's do it. All right, so this one, uh, this no, this first one, it's a bit of a longer one, and I actually did write it out because there's a lot of information. So here we go. Sucker Punch co-founder Chris Zimmerman posted a longer-formed article on the PlayStation blog earlier this week reviewing and reflecting on the past 20 years of the studio and their projects, along with some missteps and mistakes they've made within those years. This seems to be in light of infamous Second Son being a free PlayStation Plus game during the during the month of September, but could it also be the developer preparing fans for a bigger announcement of their next project? Maybe. The article closes with Zimmerman stating, quote, Sucker Punch history isn't an uninterrupted string of near escapes from dumb mistakes, ellipsis. But those stories are a lot funnier. And we can't wait to tell you the stories yet to come, end quote. So I kind of like answered my own question there. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like they are poised to make some sort of announcement. And then just a, sort of a little aside here. If you go down, this was on the PlayStation blog. And if you scroll down to the comments, you can see him making a comment that says, he says this. Just an FYI for anyone reading the comments here. I've been strictly instructed not to talk about what we're working on now. So if you're planning on reading to the end of the comment section, just in case I let something slip, you're going to be sorely disappointed. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, at least he gave gave a a heads up because you know some motherfuckers would be in there. Like, that's what I was thinking, you know, because I was like, oh, shit. We were just talking about these motherfuckers Mm -hmm. last week. Right. And here they are. So I think they're definitely going to make an announcement now. Yeah. At PSX, yep. you think? Yeah. Absolutely. Right. I mean, they have to. I mean, why would they put a fucking article up on their, on their website? You know, mm-hmm. like, Hey, remember us? We're still around. We're still doing shit. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. So I hope they make an announcement. I, I don't know. God, I hope it's fucking epic. Yeah. I hope so too. I think they're done with infamous oh, for at least a little while. Yeah. Yeah. We talked about this last week. If yeah. you want to hear more about that. Go watch episode nine. God, I don't even know what I would want him to make. Something in space. <sighs> Fucking love space. Something in space. That would be cool. I need more space. Ah, I love space shit. Yeah. I hope space more magic, space games. Space shit. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I, I think we can look forward to that. I thought we could kind of put a nail in that and pat ourselves on the back. Yeah. For making a good prediction. Yeah. Yeah. High five. But we will see. Yeah. Moving on could to number two. Bullshitting us. Huh? Okay, they could just be bullshitting us. Oh, it could be, yeah. And it's like next fucking fall that they're like, oh, hey, remember? Oh, yeah, we got a game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's been 21 years now. <laughs> that was another thing, too, is it's their 20-year anniversary. Oh, like, is What it? a better time. Yeah. Yeah, I should have maybe put more emphasis on that. But, mm-hmm. yeah, the past 20 years of the studio. And if you go read the post, it's like, yeah, celebrating 20 years. Yeah, October of 1997. Yeah, I thought I saw October in there. I was just skimming through their article yeah. here a minute ago. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. actually a good read. It's uh, kind of maybe a maybe their announcement will come out next, in October. In October, and then they'll have more to say about it at PSX. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe. What else have they made? I don't even know. Is it all? <sighs> they made the Sly Cooper games. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. They made some other stuff too. Fuck, that don't what? bring that shit back. Sly Cooper. Oh, yeah, no. A lot of people are always fucking. I've heard of people, oh, bring back Sly Cooper. Like, yeah. Just like the same assholes that want fucking Naughty Dog to bring back uh, Jack and Daxter. Yeah. Well, and they kind of they made an HD remaster of it. Well, kind of. I mean, it's still a PS2 game. Yeah. PS2. That game does not hold up well. Yeah, yeah, I think we, I mentioned this yeah, last we, yeah, week. We talked about that. But, yeah. like, I don't. They're a different studio now. They're like serious topics. Oh, Naughty Dog? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Like, fucking. Or, like, you know. I mean, not like serious. Uncharted's not very serious, but well, it is, but it isn't. More, yeah, like, it's more like it's got a lot of comic relief as opposed to the Last of yeah, Us. That yeah, I think not, I think Last of Us Two is gonna be dark. I hope so. I get chills thinking about I think that fucking shit. Joel's dude. gonna die or is dead, and I think Ellie's gonna die at the end. Oh yeah, yeah. Ellie's gonna die at the end. Yeah. So, dark. 
dark. Like, dude. like that's how total it all opposite ends. of what Uncharted is. They're gonna kill off both main characters. Yeah, wouldn't that yeah? Because be they some said shit. before they weren't even planning on doing any DLC for the first one, and then they had a good story for it, so they did it. Mm-hmm. And they had no real plans to do a second uh, Last of Us <coughs> unless they came up with a good idea. So apparently they did. Mm. But I think they'll want to fucking. I think they're just gonna fucking axe them both. Yeah, that would be pretty crazy. As long as the journey there was good. Yeah. I'm, I don't know I'm cool with, with those hey, kinds of endings. Yeah. yeah, me too. You know, especially if it, and like, it's not like it can end the series. I mean, they can always just have some other assholes, you know, in the game or something. Oh, yeah, for sure. And as long as they introduce them well and they're good characters, which, you know, they yeah. probably will be. It's yeah. fucking Naughty Dog. Yeah. So, but yeah, I'm cool with those kinds of endings, especially with the way that they present that disease in the game. Like, it, it's realistic. It's a real disease yeah. that is among insects yeah and then it moves to humans so you're like oh shit yeah it's actually Cordyceps. like suspends your disbelief a little bit yeah. so if they all end up dying that's yeah. totally something that could happen you know they fuck up once and then they're dead anyway you know be more fucked up is ellie <laughs> survives but everybody else is dead or infected like everyone everybody. else everybody so it would pretty much imply that she was gonna die yeah most likely yeah or spend the rest of her days fucking alone. Yeah. Either one would suck. Yeah. yeah. Make you feel all dirty at the end. A lot of people would be pissed at that. Fucking That's not, what sucks. I, yeah. You know? I wouldn't be. I'd be like, damn, that's fucking dark. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Need a bottle of wild turkey for that ending. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all, all right. Next one. Yep. Number two. Don't Nods. New RPG Vampire or Vampire. Forget how you pronounce this. I think it's Vampire. I think it's Vampire too. Uh, the new R- RPG was supposed to release in November of this year, but has now been delayed to spring of 2018. According to GamerRanks and Eurogamer, the delay was due to a now solved technical issue, and the remaining time for development can now be used for polishing and balance. So I thought this maybe was worth mentioning and was kind of interesting because Don't Nod is the developer of Life is Strange. Right. And. That game doesn't look good visually, you know? Yeah, Life is Strange? Yeah. And yeah, so, it's just kind of like cell shaded kind of... Uh, yeah, just kind of... It's like a, it's a point and click adventure type game, right? Like like the Telltale games, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Similar? It's like an episodic is, is story. Is this game the same way? What is this N- game? No, so this is an RPG that looks very Bloodborne-y, blood, Bloodborne-ish. I'm not even getting fucking pictures on this website. bloodborne Born? Bloodborne and Bornish? <laughs> Bloodbornish. Bloodborne. Um a little bit like it's set in, it's set in like twentieth century uh England, I think. So it sorta has that oh, like some pictures. Kind of romantic Lovecraftian vibe, okay. you know. But it was just such a far cry from It kinda Life looks like a uh, Order eighteen eighty six ish. Yeah, a little bit like that too. A little more that than like yeah. Bloodborne. But the combat definitely looks Bloodborne inspired. Okay. Like not completely. And I know we talk about this maybe a little too much, but I just thought it was interesting that they're having these problems. No shit. We can't figure out this dodge mechanic. Yeah, (laughs) exactly. Like they've made these episodic story games so far. They made remember me as well. Okay. Yeah. And I think, Oh, they made remember me. Yeah. Oh, that game was fucking cool. I never played it and I'm not even sure what it's like. It's like an action game. It's like it, an action shooter type game. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was cool. It was way fucking cool. Okay. Cool ass story. Was it ever a free game? It might have. If it was, it was on PS3 because it was a PS3 oh, game. Oh, is it that old? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Is that the, that's the one made by or published by EA, right? <sighs> they made that game? Yeah, Don't Nod. Yep. I don't know who it was published by. I'm pre- it was EA, published by EA for sure if they made yeah. that game. Uh, what are we looking for here? Remember me? Oh, I pulled up a movie. <laughs> some fucking love movie. Oh, is there a movie name that yeah, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> shitty. Some, oh, it just did that for me as it's well. Got twenty seven percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Sounds like a pretty shitty movie. Yeah, don't go see Remember Me. We're slandering that. Uh, oh yeah, they did. Uh, Holy fuck yeah, I like that game. Oh, it's published by Capcom. Oh, okay. Oh, why the fuck I thought okay. it was EA? Yeah, I never played that, so maybe I was a little off here. Because I was just sort of... Yeah, I was just if that's sort of, on fucking Steam, fucking cheap for a sale or something, pick that up, dude. That game's cool. Yeah? Yeah, I'll buy 5. it. 5.9 out of 10. I liked it. 
I thought it was fucking cool. Yeah. It looks it's cool. It's got a 9.10 on, on Steam. Yep. 9 out of 10. Yeah. It's but IGN, bro. They fucking buy it. They don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> I was mostly just thinking, though, that it's interesting that it's such a different game from Life is yeah. Strange, you know, and that they're having these technical issues. Like, hopefully they are taking the time to really make it better because if you look at any gameplay demos i watched some of them like i think during last year's e3 and it looked a little choppy you know yeah a little bit so cool that it's um getting a little bit more time god dude i wish i could remember more of the story and remember me but i remember it was pretty fucking cool yeah yeah. It's like a futuristic type yeah. thing. It looks kind of like yeah. set in the I think future. They, they, they like try to erase her memory or something, but it keeps coming back. Uh-huh. Like, it keeps like she keeps fucking remembering shit. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Or had a cool twist at the end too. Hmm. I'll have to check it out. It's worth playing. I liked it. Right on. I, I didn't even fucking know they made it. I couldn't figure out how to pronounce their fucking name when you're. I was like, don't don't <laughs> nod. Yeah. yeah. I was like, what the fuck's going on there? That may not be how yeah. you pronounce it either, but I mean, I think That's what it's it says. <laughs> All right, moving on to number three. This is a short one having to do with Super Mario Odyssey. Did you hear about this? Did you see this? Uh, no, I just read it a minute ago, though. Okay. So now it's, I know. It's running at 720p undocked on the Nintendo Switch. So in handheld mode. Right. And 900p docked on the Nintendo Switch. So in console mode. And it's hitting 60 frames per second. Yeah, at least they're hitting the 60 frames per second. That's cool. Yeah, I think that's cool, too. I just, uh, from what I understand, most most of the time these Mario games are like, what would you want to call it? Like a benchmark to how powerful the system is? Kind of, yeah. Like? Or less, yeah, they're usually pretty pretty good. But they're always like simple graphics, usually. They're like not, like he- texture heavy. Yeah. They're just... That's true. Platformer type games. Yeah. But also, what's more, according to this article, you put a link to like, game, Gamer... Gamer Ranks. Gamer Ranks. Yeah, that's where we pulled this from. It says, uh, what's more, when it's in docked mode, players will have access to improved bloom. Uh, what's fucking lot? I should know what that is. L-O-D. Yeah. Something Light distance. omitting. No, it's something distance. <laughs> Some technical term yeah. for the notes. Shadows and draw distance. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck a lot is. What is that? Let's Google it. Yeah, but I thought this was interesting. Uh, cool. It, I do think it's really neat that they're you know they're still trying to hit that sixty frames per second. At least they understand level that. of detail. Oh, okay. Well, that's sense. a pretty broad term, right? Yeah. Be more detailed. There's the dog. Yep. Somebody we're, here. We're being robbed again. Yep. Help. <laughs> it's probably oh, the water man. One. <laughs> Seriously, why are you guys just sitting there? <laughs> <laughs> it's a goddamn emergency. <laughs> All right, but cool, yeah. Odyssey, I'm probably, I'm sure it'll be fucking great. It'll probably fucking fly off the shelves. Yeah, it looks really cool. I it's think one it with looks actual awesome. humans is in it, it in it. Isn't yeah, it? And, and like Mario fucking turns into and nobody's humans. freaking the fuck out. Like, yeah, be like, what the fuck is with this cartoon fucking plumber running around, dude? Yeah, yeah. Be fucking losing my shit. Be like, God damn it, I ate he's too not many even mush. plumbing. I ate too many goddamn. Mush. Yeah, he's not a plumber anymore. <laughs> he's apparently. Oh yeah, yeah. There was wasn't it some. Yeah, there was an interview with the creator or something like that he's like he's the everyman he can be whatever you know he needs to be yeah <laughs> that seemed weird to me like why why i thought it was maybe a joke yeah when that was announced just to like piss off nintendo yeah. people or whatever yeah. i don't know like he's a plumber dude come on anyway we don't know shit about nintendo yeah. i don't know what i'm talking yeah. about yeah neither do i it's cool number four playstation plus free games are up for october they announced not up yet. Uh, announced, excuse me. Holy shit. Yeah. This is a Fucking good one. Some damn good ones. Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, is absolutely free in October. Fucking awesome fucking game. Yeah. If you haven't played well, this game... Uh, if, you, if, yeah, if you haven't played this game, don't go in expecting a traditional like Metal Gear Solid story. I mean, there's the cutscenes are there, but the like story isn't nearly as good as the other one. But the gameplay <sighs> is fucking awesome. The and, gameplay is great. And that game is fucking beautiful. Yeah. And fucking runs fantastic. Yeah. I th- yeah, like that. And there's g- a lot of hidden shit in there, like to do. <laughs> like S S ranking all the missions is mm-hmm. a fucking chore. I'd love to platinum this game, but I just don't got the fucking time for this shit. Yeah. You played the shit out of it there though for a little while. Oh yeah. Didn't you, oh, didn't yeah. you start to try to platinum it? 
or no? Yeah, I, uh, I started to. I started to go around and collect all the fucking. I just the, the fucking tapes you collect, so mm-hmm. fucking awesome. Like 80s, those are cool. Eighty yeah. soundtrack, and then you can like use it as your helicopter music when you're when oh, it comes yeah. flying in to pick you up. Yeah fucking awesome yeah it's really cool too i mean it's set in kind of like a what you'd think would be a boring area yeah. it's in afghanistan yeah. like you're in a desert yeah but still pretty they badass. make it cool yeah. they make yeah. it fun yeah so if you haven't played it definitely definitely get that and you should love it that's another one i need to finish yeah it's a i good think game. i got interrupted by persona 5 with this one but i want did to- you ever play more tight Ty- oh you started titanfall did you play any more of that uh no no, I wasn't gonna mention it either, just because I only I've only done that tutorial. I did the tutorial, man? Yeah, fucking halfway Fuck that there. Tutorial <laughs> up, <Yep. laughs> So that's that's a that's a really really cool headliner for the free games. It's also joined on the PS4 with the Amnesia Collection, and this is a, a horror series. I can't remember who developed it. Horror. It's when the horrors move into town. When the horrors, yeah, the horror for horrors. There's a little uh, rose there. So the Dark horse. Descent and a Machine for Pigs. Yeah. That's a cool fucking name. Yeah. Dark Descent was number one. A Machine for Pigs was number two. Um, I never played these. I have them on Steam. And I always meant to, but, you know. Fucking Steam, dude. Yeah. I Goddamn think- black hole of video games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have way too many. Way too many. Uh, some other games that are joined for the month of October. Monster Jam Battlegrounds. On the PS3. I don't know what it is. Me either. I Hustle don't. Kings for the PS3. Don't know, I don't what, know that what that is. is either. Hugh for the PlayStation Vita cross by with the P- uh, PlayStation 4. I think I've seen that on the store, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, me too. I thought it, like, I thought I've seen it and I thought it looked cool at one point, but maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. And the last one is Sky Force Anniversary for the PlayStation Vita cross by with the PS4 and ps3 okay so pick those up good Hugh, lineup he looks like a little like side scrolling type game oh little, it's a side like scroller puzzler type game kind of like it looks like kind of like guacamole if you've ever played that oh okay i never played it but i know or limbo probably, probably like a cross between those two nice guacamole is the shit did you play that yeah 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 i never played it yeah i beat it on i think I, what did i beat that one on i beat it on something i don't remember what the fuck i beat it on but I beat it. Like on your Vita or your PS4, yeah. you mean, or what? Yeah, was, uh, they're on Vita, PS4, or PS3, because it's on all of them. I think, oh, okay. they, I think they brought it to PS4. I think I beat it on PS3. Mm-hmm. And I think on PS3, you could use the Vita as the controller, and it would show you the map on the Vita screen. Oh, really? Play. Yeah, so you could fucking look at it, which is pretty goddamn helpful in that game. Yeah, that sounds cool. Even but, if it wasn't essential, that's fucking yeah. cool. Yeah, that was a fucking good game. Damn good game. <sighs> but yeah. Metal Gear Solid, I think that's a damn good list. Yeah, that's really good. I think I think I'll play Amnesia too at some point. Like I said, I've been meaning good October to. game. Yeah, horror, horror game. You know, I don't know, man. October stacked. Fucking turn off all the light. Oh yeah, October was stacked. You're fucked. You're not playing that game. No, <laughs> I'll play the Evil Within though. And I'll get scared at that. Yeah, crank up the volume, dude. Turn off all the lights. Yeah, that's how you got to play fucking Alien Isolation too. Mm-hmm. That's another one. Yep. Yeah, you need to play that game. That game's good. I'm slacking. Fuck, I might replay that game. <laughs> All right, moving on to number five. This is going to be uh, this is our last story for this week before we move into the topic. It has more to do with uh, Middle Earth Shadow of War. We, t- we talked about this before. The DLC, where, where is it? The Fourth Rock Orc Slayer charity DLC for. Where's, where's his name? Is it Narnum in here? It should be in there. I think if you go to the community page. It should be in there. Oh, 4G. So, 4G is what they call him. Oh, okay. Yeah, because his last name is 4G. Yeah. Well, anyway, what what, what we're talking about here is they've, they've got a DLC. They had a DLC planned for Shadow of War. We did talk about this yes, on the we show, did. right? Yeah. So they had a DLC planned, and all of the money for that DLC was going to go to... A charity for charity. him, for his kids and his family. Yeah, because this man... What's his whole name here? 4G. Michael yeah. 4G. Excuse us. Uh, he died of cancer. Right. And so they wanted to um, kind of immortalize him in the game. Right? Right. Um, and so 
Yeah, they put they wanted Immortal Lyman in his game, so they made him a orc slayer. He'll come in and and save your ass if you need saving. Right, if you, right. That's you know, what it was. The DLC, so. Yeah, and so all the money was going to go to charity, and then people got pissed but, at that. But with, with restrictions, it wasn't all the money. It was like some percentage or something. And then yeah. in, in certain states that have like re- even further restrictions on donating like charities and stuff like that, none of the money would have went to him. Yeah, because of their weird ass laws, and then none of the money overseas, I think, would go go to the charity. Yeah. So people got it up in arms, started calling him greedy, fucking, yeah. you know, made a fucking big. Hoopla, so... Well, it's kind of like people thought that they were utilizing his death yeah, in order to, to make money. Yeah. Which, I don't really know. I don't know enough yeah. about this to really yeah. have an opinion, but I wouldn't yeah. assume they were trying to do that. I don't need, I don't think they were trying to do that at all. Yeah. I think their intentions were better. I think, and, yeah, I think their intentions were pure, but because laws are fucking weird, I think it just got all, all fucked up. Mm-hmm. And especially now that they've since changed this so now it now it's free so free no money from the transactions obviously because it's free are going to go to any of this charity they're just going to make a donation themselves okay that's that's what this development was so the brothers are making a single donation itself yeah well that's oh fuck i wonder what the amount was i mean he could have they could have got quite a bit of money off of this i would have bought it (sighs) yeah i would have too I yeah. think that's cool. I mean, like, and and maybe I don't know enough about this, but it seemed like it was a pretty small. Maybe they'll base DLC. it on downloads. It, yeah, if, or something. If like everybody that. downloads it, they'll you know kick down x amount of dollars or something like that. Yeah, yeah. See, in that yeah, and game that, sales, I guess. Which I mean, this game is getting a lot of bad press now because of the microtransaction bullshit they have yeah. going on. But I, I don't know too many details on that. On the microtransactions. Yeah. Yeah, I that, hope I hope it's not like something you have to do. Yeah. Well, the way that they've presented it, it seems like it easily could be. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you don't want to grind for fucking y- your entire life. Yeah. To like, get some shit. Yeah. Basically, it's <laughs> kind of it seems similar to what spitting on your shit, dog. Yeah, what are you doing over there? <laughs> it seems kind of similar to maybe what Destiny's doing, but it's all you know, it's all cosmetic shit. Yeah, which I mean, Destiny is a whole different story, but none of it's none of it is necessary for the game. But basically, what they've said will be in loot boxes in Shadow of War are orc followers, weapons, the and fuck's armor. an orc doing in a box, dude? I, yeah, right. And, and who put that guy there? <laughs> it's yeah. kind of fucked up. <laughs> Open up a chest. Oh, there's the orc I need. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, but you can find weapons and armor as well. So it's like. Hmm. Uh, you know, nobody really knows. Nobody's seen a fucking chest being opened in this game. Well, know. I hope it doesn't ruin the game because I'm going to get the game because yeah. I really like the first one. All right, me too. That's why this whole thing I had the skin for the, the chick, the one chick you meet throughout the game or like in the second half of the game. How far did you beat that game, right? You platinumed it, didn't you? Yeah, I platinumed it. Yeah, the, the second half of the game where you meet that one girl and help her with some shit. Oh, and her, uh, you're, her you're gonna, mother. Yeah, you're helping because she's sick. Yeah, and you can. Yeah, you get you can unlock a skin, or I think if you unlock it, or if it was a DLC, but you can play through the whole game as her. Right, but you still right. have a dude voice. Oh, does it do that? Yeah. I never. Yeah, it's just over straight up her. just a skin over like the the dude characters. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Uh, I think that may have actually been a free DLC. Oh, it might have been a free DLC. Because I swear, I I bought that game back when it dropped, and I didn't finish it in Platinum it until yeah. earlier this year. So I didn't buy any special edition or whatever, yeah. but I had that. So yeah. I think it may have just been a free DLC. Yeah, I think it might have been a free DLC. So. And then I know the Game of the Year edition came with a whole bunch of shit, because I bought that on PC when it was like on Steam sale for like $4 or some shit. Right. And I started playing it on there. And... It gives you like one of the perks is like it gives you like the the master fucking move that you like work like all the way down the skill tree to get. Mm-hmm. You can get that like right at the beginning of the game, so you can just fuck shit up right oh, from the I beginning see. of the I game. See. Yeah, the tele what was that? Yeah, the shit teleport called? one. I don't even remember what it's called, but you can just fucking zoom across the map, just aim at a guy, and you'll like flash over there and yeah. just fuck him up. Like shadow, kill shadow, shadow or, strike, or yeah, shadow, shadow strike. It might be shadow strike. 
Yeah. And then Shadow Kill, I think, is the next one that you unlock or something. Yeah. You're fucking invincible when you yeah. have that shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's when the game breaks. Yeah. But yeah, so I don't know. No one really knows. You know, I mean, the the game has gear now, which the first one didn't have gear. No. You had like skins and stuff. Yeah. But yeah. so I don't know. I mean, it all depends on what's going to like just how they're going to do it. I hope they don't fuck it up, though. Yeah, I hope not. Oh, this really best sucks. Part, best Buy pre-order? I mean, I don't know if they'll actually give it to you. There's been a few pre-order bonuses have gotten fucked on at Best Buy. Uh-huh. But one of them it shows is a ring of power. Give you a ring, a silver ring of power. An actual ring? That's what it looked like. Are you fucking kidding yeah, me, yeah. dude? Yeah. Well, I'm going to Best Buy right fucking now. Yeah, I was like, oh, I want a fucking ring of power. Damn, dude. <laughs> My really? precious. Yeah, this is a show. I fucking, I saw it earlier when I was looking at it. Okay. When we're done with the show, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at that shit. A ring of power? Are you fucking yeah, kidding me? It was me? a silver one, too. I was like, ooh, I've never seen a silver one before. Oh, a silver one? Yeah. Oh, it's got to be gold, well, man. Fuck, fuck the gold, bro. Gold's maybe overrated. Sil- <laughs> maybe silver just works better because the letters are glowing on the gold one. Yeah. You know you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. hard to pull off. Where is it? Well, anyways, that's about it for the news. So good on Monolith. Uh making it right, I guess. But I think that was their intention all along. But either way, good on them. Damn right. What are you looking at? Are you looking up what it looks like? Uh, I was trying to pull it up, but on, on my phone it shows a picture on here, it just says uh Pre-sale, digital data download, and then Ring of Power. Ring of Power, Silver. Hold on. Ring of Power, Silver. Mm-hmm. You gotta know now, don't you? <laughs> well, it has a picture on their on their app. It has a picture. Where is it? Hold 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 up with us. Yeah. Stand by. Stand by. We're looking at fucking stupid shit. We're letting you guys know because we were gonna mention this later, actually. See. With Best Buy. Wow, we'll get a p- yeah. That's cool. I want it. Wait, where where that was nine ninety nine somewhere? Well, it's a value of nine ninety nine. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm just gonna set it on the fucking. That was on Best Buy yeah, too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna. I'm just gonna throw it in the drawer with all the other pre order shit. I can. <laughs> <laughs> They're cool to have though. Yeah, I like that shit. Like so, the, anyways, like the little knickknacks you get for going and seeing movies on Thursday. Sometimes, oh yeah, soon. yeah. I, I, got, I got a mission patch for fucking seeing The Martian. I was all oh, excited yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we 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 are done with the news, and we're moving into our topic now. And this uh, this was also due to some news going on this week uh, concerning the PlayStation Vita. So we pulled this uh, from Bloomberg, and I'm just going to read what this says in the beginning, and then we'll we'll talk about it some more. Sony's Sony Corporation's gaming chief Andrew House sees limited global potential for handheld gaming in the age of smartphones, saying that the company doesn't have any concrete plans to take on Nintendo's Switch. Quote. The Nintendo device is a hybrid device, and that's a different approach and strategy, end quote. House said in an interview at last week's Tokyo Game Show. He continues, we have not seen that as being a huge market opportunity, referring to handheld gaming outside of Japan and Asia, where Sony still sells the Vita portable device. Uh, So basically what he's saying here is they have no plans to make a new PlayStation Vita, Vita 2 or whatever it would be called, um, or any other device that's going to compete with the Switch. So, I don't know. I wasn't surprised. Yeah, not surprising at all. Yeah, not at all. That's its own thing. It's its own market for those people. Yeah. like They can't come out with something to compete with that. Mm -hmm. Kind of go against, be competing almost with PlayStation itself. So, yeah. Yeah. Makes well, sense. Probably smart move. Focus on what's working. PS4 is fucking killing it. Oh, yeah. Keep fucking making games for that. Last reported, weren't they up like to 60 million or 60 million plus PS4 units? Yeah, it's, it's 60 million plus at this point. Yeah. So they're fucking crushing it. They don't need any fucking nah. 
I don't need to focus on anything else. You need to d- divide their resources between something else to try to start a new platform yeah. to try to compete with Nintendo. <clears throat> Not need, at all. They, don't, they got their own shit. It's mm-hmm. working for them. Nintendo's got their shit working for them. Yeah. Well, and the Vita, I mean, I think it sold well, right? But not like stellarly. Of no, course, it, it was it, nowhere it near like the 3DS. It didn't, even, it didn't even sell that well. Did it not? No. No, I think it did pretty good in <sighs> Japan, but like over here, it didn't do good at all. Mm-hmm. Like I think even the PSP did, did. The PSP did a lot better because it sold a shit ton in Japan. Oh, is that where a bulk of the the sales PSP, were for yeah, that for as well? Yeah, because there was a I think a Monster Monster Hunter game <sighs> was on there. And so it just sold, flew off the shelves over there. Gotcha. And I think that was kind of before the whole iPhone, smartphone fucking craze, you know? Now that now everyone's mm. got a smartphone, so you don't really need a fucking portable device. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's kind of hits it on the head. It's like, you know, why don't they focus on making good games for mobile devices? Yeah. yeah. Rather than, like, you know, Trying selling to- an unnecessary piece of equipment. Yeah. It's just one advice. more thing. Yeah, if people have a Switch, they're not going to buy a PlayStation branded thing, which sucks because I'd I'd like to have one. I yeah. mean, my Vita is cool, but mm. honestly, it comes down to me not going anywhere to use it. Yeah, you know, fucking exactly. go to work and I come home and fucking play video games on my fucking fifty five inch four K TV. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, exactly. Fucking time. Even when I went out of town, I took my goddamn PlayStation with me. You know, like, uh-huh. I had my Vita there, but yeah, I brought the PlayStation Four and play that motherfucker in the hotel room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be honest. Too. I mean, I have a PlayStation Vita, and like, I never used it I, a I've whole lot. I played it a little bit, like on road trips. If I drive somewhere that's long, <laughs> fucking far away, or I always bring it with me on an airplane, but I never play it because I swear they pump like pure oxygen into the cabin and just makes, knocks you the fuck out. Oh yeah, and I crash you get out sleepy yeah, on planes every fucking time, dude. Like. <laughs> Oh, you actually fall asleep oh, yeah. every time? Yeah, every time. Like, out, too, <laughs> dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Just completely fucking yeah. done. Yeah. Can't play the Vita while you're sleeping. You gotta Daniel. fucking <laughs> prop your head out, like, in the window all fucking fucked up <laughs> so fucking you can find, like, a comfortable spot to sleep where you're not, like, bobbing your head around when you're fucking... Yeah. See, yeah. I just lay my head on the person next to me <laughs> that I don't know. Yeah, yo, what's up? Yeah. I'm gonna hey. use your fucking shoulder as a pillow, dog. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make this real awkward for both of us. <laughs> yeah. So I, I've taken it on planes, too. And I've yeah. even, like, made a point to play it even if I'm at home. Just yeah. if there's a game I want to play, like Persona 4. Yeah. And obviously, I didn't stick with it just because yeah. it's so fucking long. And it's like, I have short stubby fingers <laughs> so like my hands get uncomfortable after a while yeah. and it is a little awkward yeah it is you know so, yeah. and the fuck the fucking buttons on the back yeah the touchpad buttons yeah they're fucking cock bullshit yeah, yeah. horrible oh wait i played through uh what did i play through <sighs> kill zone mercenaries oh did you play through yeah, that? I played through that game and that okay. was actually a damn good first person shooter for being on a held held was it yeah it was way better than it deserved to be it was hmm. fucking damn good. I even played the multiplayer a little bit just to try it out. Nice. It was fucking good. Nice. They didn't get enough props for that game. I don't remember who made it. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. I don't know. No, Gorilla didn't make that. Who the fuck made that? Someone else. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody else made it. So some. Yeah. Like I played. Uh, what was another one? I played Freedom Wars. You remember that game? I don't know if you ever played it, Freedom but. Wars. Yeah. Yeah. I played that game a little bit. I yeah. got that game. Yeah, I still have it. I should. I I've thought about it a lot. Like I kind of want to go back to it. It's an interesting game, and it looks good. It's Guerrilla too. Cambridge. I guess they did make it. Oh, they did develop that. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Huh. It came out right around the time of uh, what was the launch title for PS4? Shadows. Shadows. Oh, Shadowfall. 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 Yeah. That one was good too. I liked that game a lot too. Yeah. Ooh. Wasn't it at around the same time though? Uh, or was it sh- after? yeah i think so because this one came out september 4th 2013 oh okay so it came out, i think a little bit before i don't remember it was killzone a launch title i think it was launch or shortly after yeah pretty sure yeah i think it was a launch because i remember playing it pretty fucking yeah soon after getting it yeah i think um, i actually borrowed it from a friend that's just interesting you think they'd like you know put that off to somebody else like naughty dog yeah. did with whoever the fuck made the golden I think abyss the, didn't girl like cambridge get shut down though uh i don't know maybe i'm just imagining maybe. fucking things dude can you <clears throat> yeah this is why we we aren't prepared for this show no, not at by all the way so you're gonna have to stick with us 
I don't know if they got shut down. Yeah, they did. Oh, they did. As a result, has been cited that Gorilla Cambridge Studio will close. Sony did not specify when its subsidiary will shut down completely, but the company added that Gorilla Games Amsterdam has not been affected by the, the restructuring. When was this? Uh, fuck was that? Was that this fucking? That was this year, I think. So like they got shut down though, but like reallocated, didn't they? Uh, this is ringing some bells now. Yeah, it was because uh, Gorilla's not gone. January twelfth of this year. <laughs> no, no, it was just the Cambridge. Yeah, studio. I think they had multiple locations. Interesting. I don't know enough yeah. about that. Yep. Yep, subsidiary of Sony Interactive Entertainment, best known for its work on Killzone Mer- Mercenary, is set to close down. So yeah, they did close them down. Mm. I remember, I remember that because I remember fuck it, I played that game and I was like, God, that was a fucking damn good game. And they closed the studio down. I was like, the fuck. The Vita game you're talking yeah. about? Oh, okay. Yeah, it was a really fucking good game, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it was really damn good. Yeah. It was like quick, you know. You like it was because you're it was like mercenary, so like you had like operations, you know, you're like. Go do this, you know, you jump in there, go fucking, you know, murder some shit, do whatever the fucking needed to be done, and then, you know, the mission was over. It was quick, you know, as a fucking handheld game should That's be. That's good. You know, you can't be fucking on this fucking hour-long quest in a fucking handheld game. Yeah, no, not at all. You just gotta jump in there, shoot some motherfuckers, and get the fuck out. Hmm. Like, That's too free, bad it didn't Freedom get Freedom Wars is set up the more. same way. You could go out on a mission, you know, fuck some shit up. Oh, yeah. You know, and then come oh, back. it's totally set up that yeah. way. Yeah play it all on, on the go and I think there just wasn't enough vitas out there for it to do good yeah yeah i'm lo- i looked up some some sales numbers and i think it took a lot of fucking space too there was a patch i remember that was a problem when it came out is the patch itself was like four four additional gigabytes for freedom wars or for, for, for kills Killzone mercenary oh, so like oh. if you it was over four gigabytes because i think that was like the smallest one of the smallest cards that came with it Mm-hmm. or that you could get with it so if you d- bought the game like the retail version the patch was four gigabytes so if you had a four gigabyte memory card for it you couldn't even play the game because or patch the oh, game because it, shit. yeah see yeah. where that goes see where that becomes a problem yeah dude <laughs> that's really that's really a huge fuck up yeah on their part there was that was a- another thing that was fucking problem with the vita is the fucking memory card yeah fucking prohibitively expensive oh yeah like what was the one that you could only get was it a 64, 64 gigabyte and you could only get it shipped in from japan yeah yeah they don't sell it here for like 200 fucking dollars yeah. or something fuck that yeah dude. It, i think it's down at like 90 bucks now i haven't looked in a while because i wanted to get one mm-hmm. it's like you know it's like oh fuck it i could just load every goddamn game i got on the vita on there yeah but you could get 32 gigs <laughs> that's what i right. have in mind that's what mm-hmm. i have as well yeah which is a pretty decent amount of yeah, space. Yeah, it's a good amount of space. A lot a lot of the games are small, you know, but it can, you can fill it up pretty quick with some big games. Oh yeah, for like, sure. The fuck. I have some I have some pretty big games. I think I don't even fucking remember what they are. But I got a fuck ton of games on that thing still. On like, Vita. Yeah, there's like at least 30 or 40 games on it. Oh shit. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. I have like 15 and half like more than half of them I never ended up playing. When I bought mine, they used to do PS Plus a lot different back in the day when they first started it. Really? Yeah. I wasn't around for those days. Yeah. They how was it, it different? It was, it wasn't like all the games, like, uh, fuck, I don't even remember how they really did it, but it was, it was like, fuck, how do they, I don't even remember how they fucking structured you, it. It was like games like a week or something like that, like it changed or something. I don't remember. But when I bought my Vita, I know I got like 12 games instantly free. Holy shit. Really? Yeah. And wow! Then, and then all and, at once, yeah, because there was like a bunch on the store. They never. Uh, I think they didn't. They didn't go away. Maybe that's what it was. Oh, like new you know, months now, or yeah, whatever. Every, yeah, every month, you know, it's different games. I got gotcha. you. They didn't. They didn't go away at that time. They were just on there and they were free. <sighs> and you hmm. could just rack them up. Like I had a fucking fuck ton of games <laughs> on there already. And then they did like, uh, was it like instant game collection? Oh, okay. So it just gave, they had like fucking six games for Vita and six games for PS3 that were just free all the time. And it was all as long as you yeah. were a PlayStation Plus yeah. member? Yeah. Uh, well, you could probably see why they did away with that. Yeah, huh? yeah they, they were giving, dude, they were giving out fuck tons of free games when they first came out with PS Plus. Yeah. And people were like, oh, they don't give us enough fucking game. They're like, oh, f- you weren't around, man. Fuck, they gave dude. out some shit for PS3. Yeah. 
That's always but. so silly when people complain about like a free lineup. Shit? Yeah, <laughs> about free shit. Free shit. Yeah. Complain about free shit. Yeah. All right. I mean, it makes sense to me. It makes sense that you have to be a subscriber to these kinds of yeah. systems. Like people always say, you, you know, it's stupid because on PS3 it was free. On yeah, well, yeah, but on PC you don't have to pay. Oh yeah, but that's because it's you know probably a lot easier to develop systems like that because yeah. it's in you know it just seems easier yeah but yeah they work around the clock constantly on these things and they yeah. throw in free games anyway yeah and sometimes they suck yeah yeah but sometimes you get months like this yeah and you're like oh fuck yeah there's my 60 dollars anyway. it's in a 60 dollars dude netflix is 10 dollars <laughs> a fucking month yeah exactly and i'm paying 12 because i fucking upgraded to the ultra hd package oh did you yeah oh yeah i fucking caved i was like ah two bucks is it eating your fucking bandwidth i don't really watch it <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> dumbass <laughs> so you just wanted to like look at it yeah for i wanted to check a it little out bit. I, I have only watched i watched a couple fucking shows what yeah. did you watch uh the fuck did i watch it's mostly just netflix original shit that's in 4k oh, okay i think breaking they bad is too shit, i think breaking bad is as well I was watching, rewatching. Oh, Daredevil! No, what one just came out? The newest Marvel show. Yeah. Oh, the Defenders. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I watched that, and then I watched. I started rewatching Jessica Jones, and then what the fuck else did I watch? I think that was about it. Mm. I just watched all that. Looked good though. Yeah, it looked fucking damn fuck good. Yeah, but I've been thinking about doing. I still that think too. Of, I still think a Blu-ray is gonna look better, but I need a player, and yeah, they're fucking expensive. So go <laughs> look out for Black Friday. Yeah. Yep. Try to swing with them Xbox S's, be be the new fucking media player. <laughs> yeah, retire the PS3 as that duty because yeah. that's all that motherfucker's been doing for the last like what four years uh-huh. since I got the PS4. Yeah, yeah. In my dedicated Blu-ray machine. Yep. Well, so I looked up some numbers on the PlayStation Vita, and according to VG charts, fifteen point six five million copies worldwide, copies units worldwide. I ain't very good. Not very good at all. So uh, better than the Wii U, though. Ah, did it. <laughs> <laughs> it is by like four, almost two million. Uh, almost two. Yeah. Th- this is according to VG charts. Yeah. Maybe we need to find a more reliable source. I don't think there is one. Yeah. Because no. I just always, I never know if it's, yeah. like it's totally it's, reliable. Yeah, you just have to specify where you're getting it, and people know. Yeah, yeah. Add a couple million. This here seems or there. pretty pretty accurate, though. They have PS4 here listed as 16, uh, 62.18 global. PlayStation 2 right, right up there around 160. So it seems accurate. But yeah, 15 million. Yeah, that's it's not worth investing anymore. Yeah. Not at all. Comparatively, the Nintendo DS has sold 154 million copies jesus yeah what about the 3ds is that the one listed right there <sighs> simple or uh they're at number 10 this is like a whole hardware list by the way i'm looking at oh, right, maybe right. i'll try to get a screenshot up there uh nintendo 3ds number 10 65 million units sold the ps4 is trailing just behind it it's gonna fuck sit here soon yeah hmm. that would be pretty crazy they will pass it they absolutely really it's only that that it's that low? What, the 3DS? Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was higher, too, but I guess it's the DS that was the really, really high one. Huh. Weird. Yeah. I thought I had a Maybe I wonder if too. it's because they have so many goddamn SKUs for the 3DS. It could be. Yeah, because they had the 3DS, 3DS XL, the new 3DS XL, because they couldn't come up with a more clever name for it, so they just added new in the title. <laughs> yeah. They don't, they don't list those separately, either. Those XLs yeah. and fucking... Yeah magnum size yeah whatever <laughs> magnum, else they got, <laughs> magnum <know>. edition <laughs> and then they came out with dick and then they came out with the 2ds and then they just came out then they just come out with the 2ds xl or something like that and it's it's i think it has the clamshell design like the 3ds but it's cheaper did they pretty sure i don't know man i don't follow nintendo kind of pay attention a little bit because yeah. like i wanted uh i wanted one to play uh majora's mask in ocarina of time was that a 2ds I think it was a 2DS. Yeah, yeah the one that they uh, they just came out with it. Like, yeah. Recently. It was cheap too. I think it's like 100 bucks. Yeah. Yeah, see? 2DS XL. Our friend our friend Nick has one. It's 150 bucks. Leave us a comment, Nick, and tell us tell me which one you have cuz I think he got that one. Did he? 
Did you I just think. get it recently? No, it was like earlier this year. Oh, so yeah. Or later that, last this year. This just came out recently. July 2017. Oh, okay. Never mind. Fuck off, Nick. Don't need you. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, also comparatively, the PSP sold 80 million units. Yeah, see? So you killed it. Yeah, this is pretty clear. Like, I mean, could have done some digging of your own or of our own and uh, knew that nothing would a successor. I think if they would have des- designed it a little bit better, if I mean, if they had the two joysticks, if they would have made it so it somehow had two triggers or two buttons, shoulder buttons. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, so they had one and one, and they never like integrated it with PS4 to like talk to it, like as a controller. Just like or, at all, like when you link it to a PS3, you can use your PS3 to download video games and shit, and store all your video games. Oh, and then you can actually just transfer them back and forth. You know, it's like oh, you know, I don't got space on my Vita for this game. Put it on my PS3 real, real quick. Mm-hmm. So like, if you don't have a computer, because you could do that on your computer as well. Mm-hmm. You can fucking plug it into that bitch and I'll load a program on on the Vita, and you can use it to transfer shit back and forth. And then games would use it like as a controller. Like I told you, Guacamelee could use right, it. Right. You know? They never did any of that shit with PS4. You plug into a PS4, it's like, what the fuck is this thing? Mm, yeah. Fucking goddamn garbage fucking screen. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Just ejects it, spits yeah, it out of yeah. the port. <laughs> fuck you. But hmm. I guess they already had plans to just kind of quietly sweep it under the rug. Oh, yeah. You think they'll say anything about it at PSX? Did they say anything Absolutely about it? Absolutely not. You think they said anything about it last year? Or did they? I don't remember. Oh, well, Geo was up yeah. there. Yeah. Is that, what's his last name? Geo oh, something. Geo Corsi. Yeah. That guy's yeah. cool as fuck. He's <laughs> met, I think he did. Yeah. I'm fairly certain he did. I think he was up there talking about some indie titles. Yeah. And there were like a few of them that were coming to the PlayStation Vita. Because he's like the hero of the Vita. Yeah. You know? <laughs> there was one year at PSX where he was like we emphasizing Yeah, we got Vita. 20, was it 25 games or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, that guy's cool as fuck. Yeah, that guy Fun was, story about Geo. Yeah. We, that was badass. We were in, it was PSX 2015. Yeah, San Francisco. Yeah, in San Francisco, and it was at the Moscow Center. So this is like downtown San Francisco. It's a cool fucking place, yeah. by the way. And so <clears throat> we went across the street out of the convention center because right. we were going to go smoke and I think grab something to eat. Yep. And then we saw Geo. And he was, yeah. he's hard to miss. He's this yeah, big we, dude. Yeah, he's we were wearing getting, a hockey jersey. Yeah. PlayStation hockey jersey. Yeah. Like specifically yeah. for him. Like that jersey's badass. Yeah. And so we uh, we were just walking or we were coming back to the convention. We were center. getting ready to eat at Noodles and Company. That's right. We were standing there smoking and we were going to go in there and get some fucking noodles and yeah. shit. And he walked up with some lady. I don't know yeah. who she was. But yeah, so we. We said, like, oh, hey, what's up, man? Like, we really liked your part of that keynote, which yeah. we did. Yeah. And he was like, oh, thanks, thanks. And we sat there and, like, just talked about games. Yeah. Like, yeah. he's not just some fucking dude that goes yeah. up there and yeah. spouts bullshit he knows nothing about. We talked about games yeah. with that guy. And then he gave us, I think he gave us the Paragon card. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was the the, the, the rare one. version. Yeah, the rare one. Yeah. Fuck rare motherfuckers yeah they did away with that <laughs> yeah. in the next one yeah thank which was god good. but yeah he just gave us these cards because he's like i think he even asked us yeah he was like you guys hunting cards and we're like fuck yeah we are yeah he's like oh here you go these might be kind of hard to find yeah which i don't know if they ended up being hard to find but yeah yeah cool i don't guy. remember either i think they might have been because they, 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 i think those ones they had like fucking randomly because i think we got the the uh, bronze foiled one at that uh, the fuck the podcast live recording. Of yeah, the podcast. might have been kind of funny. Is yeah, yeah. But it was podcast beyond at the time. No, that was only the first year. Oh, it was, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was their last episode. Mm-hmm. That's right. So yeah. it was kind of funny. Oh, was it their last episode? Yeah, they were beyond at the very first PSX. Oh, but they were uh, okay. And okay, were, and then they fucking left IGN and right. kind of funny. Right. Yeah, but Geo was a cool dude. Yeah, the guy's awesome. Cool dude. But yeah, at this year's PSX, I don't think there's going to be any mention of it. Maybe. I don't know. Like, maybe if something's already in development and yeah. they were, like, planning to announce it. Right. Maybe. But They didn't have any Vitas there last year, did they? I don't remember seeing any games for Vita on like the show floor. No, I don't remember. Except, except Salt and Sanctuary. Oh, yeah, because people have been wanting that. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. And they only had like one Vita. They were a small table. Yeah. 
but they had it there and it's playable and it yeah. still didn't come out for like <sighs> another six to eight months after that or something like that it was pretty recent yeah didn't it? it was like I, six months i think it was over the summer yeah finally sometime came out. in the summer it came out yeah so yeah i don't know and there was people clamoring they're wanting a uh switch version of salt and sanctuary yeah i doubt they're gonna do I told that them to fuck off <laughs> and make a new fucking game yeah oh making- wait is that what they were telling you huh no, they, I just see this on comments. Like anytime they have like a, I follow them on Facebook and Twitter right. and shit. You right. Know, and they're like, oh, you know, we have these pennies for packs. People are like, bro, oh, please bring, you know, Salt and Sanctuary to Switch. Yeah. I'm like, fuck you, bye Vita. Scott <laughs> Studios, yeah. by the way. Yeah, Scott Studios. Yeah. Good people. Good mm-hmm. people. I doubt they do that because we talked to them as well and they were talking about well, how they didn't much e- of a pain in the yeah. ass it was yeah. to bring it to the Yeah, Vita. they didn't even, they like, they helped, but they had another guy that did a lot of Vita ports actually doing <sighs> the the majority of the fucking recoding for it yeah sound like a huge pain in the ass oh yeah they were saying it was a nightmare yeah so i doubt they'll do that maybe well, think, they will though i think I it'd be know. easier to port to a switch i think the switch has a little bit more power but yeah that's true but i think i think it'd be better if they made a new game mm-hmm. maybe I a agree. sequel or something yeah or just a new game you know, i got, never their I never, name's out there i know who they are i'll buy whatever the fuck they throw oh, out yeah. next <laughs> yeah that would be cool though because salt and sanctuary was fucking that was a good game. That was a fucking awesome game. Yeah. Platinum that motherfucker. Oh, yeah. I wanted to platinum it twice it, on the Vita. Yeah, I wanted to get it on Vita, too. Yeah. I started it, but... Me, too. I was trying to beat the boss without dying in the very beginning. Oh, the big boss that you're yeah. supposed to die to? Yeah. 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 Fuck, that shit's hard, But dude. I want to get that trophy first this time. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that was a trophy, I died, like, huh? seven or eight times, and then I was like, all right, I'll try this. And I forgot how to do it. I couldn't remember how, how you... I know it was a lot of dodging involved. Oh, yeah, because yeah. he kills you in one hit. Yeah. So you can't get hit. Yeah, at all. <laughs> yeah, that was a good game. And rest in peace, Vita. Rip, Vita. We loved you a lot, even though you were... I didn't play you enough, but I still bought fucking bunch of shit for you yeah you know what else though i wonder how long they're gonna roll out updates for it you know i haven't checked mine in a while usually i turn it on at least to update it every fucking yeah. week or so i think i turned mine on like a month ago was there an update yes yeah no maybe because I, I i had turned it on to play salt and sanctuary when that dropped it, it must have been sometime over the summer i, I wonder if they'll keep updating it yeah, that's what when, I'm you, when you stop updating it, that's usually when fucking hackers will get in there and start fucking fucking with it, you know? Yeah, pirating shit. Yeah, and, or yeah, because the PSP, the PSP whatever. was that's that's part of the reason why this system had a propriet- proprietary I fucking hate that word proprietary <laughs> uh, memory cards because the Vita just used the Sony like memory sticks, uh-huh. and people were fucking hacking hacking the PSP and you could put like every Nintendo game on it, every fucking whatever, Super Nintendo, all uh, emulators fucking for days on a on a PSP. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's why they went with a proprietary memory system. So I wonder if they will keep updating it to prevent people from fucking around with it. Yeah. Hopefully. I Do they mean, still sell them? Can you even buy one anymore? Uh, a Vita? Yeah. I'm pretty sure you can. I wouldn't see why not, but didn't this, hold on, didn't this say something? Well, 202 bucks on Amazon. Uh, referring to handheld gaming outside of Japan and Asia where Sony still sells the Vita portable device. So yeah, they still sell it. Okay. According to Bloomberg. Fucking Bloomberg. Bloomberg. Cool, I need to buy another one of those before they go away what a vita yeah just so you have like a backup uh-huh. if that one dies uh-huh. right dude. yeah yeah we really do like the vita yeah. it is yeah. it's shitty it's not coming back or there'll be a new iteration of it but it's still a lot of fuck ton a fuck ton of games on that fucker oh yeah a lot of good games how many, too how many more fucks can i fit in a sentence <laughs> <laughs> all right well that's it for the topic and we had like we had a couple other little things we oh i got something i wanted here. to mention there's a new trailer for a movie coming out Oh, really? I want to see it. Where did it go? I saw it on IGN earlier. I don't know. I probably lost it. I had it open, and then I fucking lost it. It's called Annihilation. Annihilation. Like, Annihilation. It's based on some best-selling book. 
Is that just like a tagline they use for any fucking movie now? Like based on the based on a best selling book. Like I've never heard of that fucking book. Yeah. I mean, I don't read books, but I mean, right. if it was best selling, you think I would have heard about it somewhere? Yeah. You know? Like, hey, this book's fucking the shit. And then it like just appears on bookshelves everywhere. Yeah. Without yeah. anybody knowing. Yeah. I'll just sneak that on there. But yeah, has a, a movie starring now. Natalie Portman. Ooh, Looks okay. like some weird alien shit in the trailer. It has a deer with some flowers growing out of its antlers. Looks like some crazy shit going on, but you should check and it out. And it's in space? Uh, no, it looks like... I don't know what... The, I, I couldn't really listen to it. I was watching it earlier when we were out there. Oh, okay. But I just saw... I was just looking at it. Visually, it looks fucking crazy. Some Annihilation? Weird Annihilation. Sweet. Sweet. And then... Uh, uh, that's all I got. I'll, t- I'll talk about the other one another day. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I had, I had a little idea <laughs> here that we could uh, maybe tell people about some deals. Oh, yeah. Deals are always uh, good. Yeah. There's always deals going on. Fucking everywhere. And another thing is if it's from a specific retailer, remember that most places will price match you. So if you yeah. guys want some decent deals on games. Yeah, like if you find a deal on Amazon and you fucking can't wait two days for it to get to you, you can just go to Best Buy and they'll price match it for yeah. you. Yep. As long as it's sold by Amazon, yeah. which it always is. Yeah. Yeah. So sold, sold and shipped by Amazon. Yeah. It has to be both. So my, I, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do like one game per week. Keep this simple. Persona Five is forty dollars at GameStop, but if you don't like GameStop, like we just said, go to Best Buy and they'll price match. They price match GameStop. You ever tried? I would assume they would. Uh oh yeah 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 okay yeah Persona Five is forty bucks right now. Um, and I've never seen this game cheaper than sixty dollars. Not on the PlayStation Network. It's, not anywhere yeah, online. It's fifty dollars at Amazon right now. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, they haven't so caught, they haven't caught on to the sale. Okay. <laughs> yeah, forty bucks for Persona Five. You're gonna get like at least a hundred hours out of this game, and almost all of it is pretty That's good, really g- fun. Good goddamn bang for your buck. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah. Dude, so, wasted on Destiny. Sorry to fuck go off topic again. Wasted on Destiny is supposed to work, but I couldn't get it to fucking work. Yeah, earlier. I've tried it a little bit too. Did you? Yeah, but it's it's, it's be, fucked it's being a motherfucker. And then uh, PlayStation, the PlayStation Network resets every Tuesday if you're not aware, and they always always have a new sale. <sighs> mm-hmm. Like every week. I don't know what it, what's going on this week. Let's see. Time and then wasted. And then usually on I think Thursdays or Fridays they start a flash sale. Oh, oh, is it? Yeah, it's, okay. It's, it's, oh, I think it's at least once a month they, they do one. Uh huh. And then you can almost always count on when game like Steam is doing a sale, mm-hmm. they'll usually do a sale to compete with it. Nice. So like when they did, if they did like a. I, I didn't know it was specific days. That's good to know. Yeah, the, the flash sales are always over a weekend. Right. I just don't remember if it refreshes on Thursday is when they started or if they started on Friday. I can't remember. I mean, I usually check both days and one of the days i usually find it <laughs> right right and then i was like fuck yeah dirt cheap know. games hey i just got this to work yeah wasted on destiny what's it say it says i played 72 hours fuck on my warlock Applied that's like- exactly three days right I, uh 48 yeah. yeah, I believe so. Yeah, I believe that's how I'm. But works. I don't know. This seem <laughs> this seems a little weird because I seem to remember this. Ha- this pulls it up for Destiny One and Destiny Two for you when you type in your name there, and it says here I played 758 hours of Destiny One, and I'm fairly certain I played more than that. I won't pull up my Destiny Two time. Oh, there it goes. Oh, 86 it hours. 86. Damn. 14 hours more than me. Jesus, Jesus Daniel. Fucking goddamn <laughs> drug addict. Yeah. <laughs> That's what that game does to you, though. For sure. What does your Destiny 1 say? Uh, 913. Okay. See, I pulled numbers somewhere else, and they were higher than that. Yeah, I remember you doing that. It was like well in the thousands. Yeah. See, now I've... I remember back in the day when I first discovered this stuff or when we discovered that there were sites like this is that some of them don't account for being at the tower or being in orbit, which can accumulate to a lot of time, but 300 hours. I don't know about that. It's a lot of cigarettes. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. That's a lot of smoke breaks, man. Look at it. Look at this imposter, Daniel. Motherfucker. Oh, is there another vengeance within? 
Yeah. Oh, on Xbox. Yeah. 844 hours. Fucking, and look at you, wasted 272. Douchebag. Fucking waste life, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, that's a long goddamn time to be wasting. Yep. All right, well, got anything else, Daniel? Use Best Buy Gamers, Cl- or oh, Gamers that's Club right. Unlocked. Yeah. If you're paying sixty dollars for a game at this current time period, you're a you're an idiot. <laughs> you're all idiot. Amazon Amazon will give you twenty percent off if you pre order Best Buy. If you give them thirty bucks, we'll give you twenty percent off any new and used game for two years. I haven't paid I haven't paid sixty dollars for a game in like four years. Yep. Or whenever the fuck they started doing it. Yep. I when you first told me and then, about and it. And then like in the winter time when all the games start coming out, they'll <sighs> give you ten dollar if you pre-order a game at Best Buy, they'll give you a $10 gift certificate for pre-ordering the game. So like Shadows of War, you can pre-order for... If you go in the store, you can just pay, put $5 down and pick it up and pay the rest when it comes in. And then, then they'll give you a $10 coupon for buying the game. And then, and then you can have $10 towards Wolfenstein when it comes out. And you get 20% off that plus the $10. And you can just fucking do that. For every fucking over game, and over and yeah. Over for every again. game that has that yeah. fucking reward, it's the shit. Yeah, you get fucking new games for like thirty-five bucks. Yep, and only pre-order the games you want to pre-order, but there's some that you just know are going to be good. Exactly. So if you're getting, this isn't a plug for them either, by yeah, the way. Yeah, I ain't it's just something we use. Yeah. yeah, I just don't like paying full price for shit because yeah. I'm cheap. Like you got <laughs> Destiny for twenty-five bucks. Yeah, you were saying. Yeah, that's why I don't feel bad about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Another thing, I ain't God. giving them no goddamn silver either. Yeah, I thought um, about it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> there's little there's little tricks you can you can kind of look out for too. Not really tricks, but they have the memberships on sale all the time. Not it's, all. It's the time. always thirty bucks now. Oh, it's always thirty dollars. Yeah, it used now? to be when it came out, it was two hundred. Yeah, some ridiculous yeah. ass price. Yeah, it was fucking ridiculous. And then it would be on sale for thirty. Yeah, but that's often. what I started with. Yeah. With that cell phone trick? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the cell phone trick. That was fucking just fucking bizarre. Yeah. I don't even know how the fuck that worked. Me either, <laughs> but it fucking worked, and I got, ended up getting, yeah. like, what, two years out of it? Yeah. Or? Yeah, I've racked mine up. I think mine expires, actually, next year. Really? I think so. Okay. we have had it that long. Hmm. But, yeah, 20% off all of your new games. Like, you're paying under $50 now yeah. instead of 60 Exactly. And then you accumulate all... Another thing, too, I don't know if you mentioned this. Maybe I wasn't listening. But every... Every dollar you spend oh, gives yeah. you two points. It's a point, I think. Is one it point. one? Yeah. I, I thought it's... games offered double points. Oh, wait, yeah. 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 So you spend 50 bucks on a game, you'll get 100, 100 points, points. Yeah. roughly, whatever it is. So you buy like two and a half games. Doesn't make sense, but you know what I mean. Yeah. You get 250 points and they give you five bucks back. Yeah. Five dollars. So that's gift more money yeah. they give you. Yeah. You can just. You can get a lot of fucking games yeah. for cheap. At one point, dude, I think I bought Bloodborne for like seven dollars. Yeah. New. Yeah. Because I had so many fucking things stacked yeah. up. I'm like, I'm just gonna save these and like not. I'm gonna make them pay me to get them. <laughs> <game>, you know. <laughs> so I got close and it was seven bucks. But yeah, it's worth it for sure. Go in there and pick up a game and they give you five dollars back. Yeah. You're like, oh, here you go. Sorry, we owe you money somehow. <laughs> And here's your free game. All right. Hell yeah. That's it. Anything else? That's all all I got for now. All right. An imposter using my name, dude. Yeah, that motherfucker. We need to find him. I'm going to message him when I get home. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) All right. Thanks for joining us, guys. Remember this post each and every Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific time on this YouTube channel, and I promise I will get it on iTunes shortly. Hell yeah. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.